Showtime feature presentation. Welcome to Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the running of the Oriole Brickyard 400 presented by Ryan Multi 100. Starting on the pole today is, oh look at, oh look at this, cars are small again. Last one, the Pocono, they were very big, and now they're back to being small. Well, okay, but yeah, I just want to let you know that. Anyway, starting on the pole today is the 109 of Joshua Perry, on the outside is the 101 of Alex Jeffries. Starting third is Diego Espina, fourth is Team Pony. Shoot, sorry, I forgot about the camera, sorry. Fifth is Matt McMurray, sixth Danny Wells, seventh Jack Richards, eighth Connor Germain, ninth Tim Fralick, and rounding up the top ten is Pichu. Sky Luke Walker, our last winner of Pocono, starts in fifteenth. And the points leader, our points leader, Max Skinner, starts in fourteenth. And now, let's start the brick let's start the bricks. Start off the bricks. Let's hear those famous words in motorsports. Engine. 16 lap showdown at the Brickyard. Who's going to be winning? Who's going to kiss the bricks tonight? You're about to find out right now. All clear. No one's having any problems. It's all clear. Lap... Last time we had pack racing. This time I've doubted it. But it's going to be exciting racing at the brickyard. At the brickyard. Don't worry. 16 laps. Yeah. Got nothing else. Um, watch out for that like concrete barrier in that wall. In that in the wall, concrete barrier um, cut off. There might be accidents there if they're not careful. Sorry about that. Um. Anyway, Joshua Perry, for the first time ever, leading is going to lead the field with the green. And the green flag is out. We're underway at Indy. And wow, the front row got a good start. Either that or the back, or Los Pena didn't get much of a good start. But Joshua Perry did get a good start. Oh, and now Alex... Oh, no, they spin out! Can you believe it? One, two, one. Jake, Joshua Perry, and Alex Jeffries. One, two. They spin out. Unbelievable. The leaders, they spin out. Who's going to lead in the line? Oh, no. Matt McMurray just slammed. Well, there's another wreck with Ospina. It's either going to be Tate Pony or Danny Wills that's going to lead in the line. Oh, they spin out. Oh, wow. This is so wow. This is so weird. And look at this. It is actually going to be Dion Scott that's going to lead in the line. Oh, oh my God. Wow. We have had two leader wrecks. In one lap. Told you they would be careful. Okay, let's try to clear all this up and see what happened here. Let's try to be calm. I'm calm. I'm gonna be calm. All right, let's see what happened with the first wreck. Here's the first one. They both got into the barrier. Remember I said when the barrier was dangerous? When it's not controlled right? Well, they both, both Jeffries and Joshua Perry learned it the hard way. They spin out. And Dylan Poteet was collected. My goodness. Here it is again. Here's Dylan Poteet. Everyone was trying to make through. Ooh, Sky Luke Walker made it through, but not Dylan. Dylan got unlucky, and he hits Jeffries and slams into the wall. Have you ever seen this uh, leader wreck in the Brickyard? No, right? Well, you've just you've just witnessed one right now. On board with Dylan Poti. <laughs> On board with Dylan Poteen, we're using the chase view. Oh, 
Oh, it was Ryan Acosta that spun him out. It was Ryan Acosta that pushed him to Jeffries. Oh, it was not, oh, but it was not done yet. Oh, oh, but the Rex did not stop yet. We'll get to this in just a moment. Oh, but the Rex were not, oh, but they were not done wrecking yet. Acosta spins out Lamb Lombard, Trent Dunham spins out Justin Perry, Tim Fralick gets collected, others are held up, and oh, Eric Burton got contact with it. It was a mess, a huge mess. Oh, and there was yet another one. Diego Espina got hit something made the third wreck so there was actually four wrecks in one setting look at this Dion Scott just pushes him out and wow look at this they spin out and wow everyone made it through except for Inner Expo gets hit and Tim Fralick gets a bump and Seth Cole also is hit too as you can see Seth Cole Alex Dawson was hit Lombard was just riding the wall and he couldn't get out of it and he just got the concrete barrier he spins out. Alex Dawson is collected as well. And just when Team Pony was about to lead them to the caution, this happened. One more wreck from this. And just as Team Pony was about to lead them to the caution, this happens. They were unlucky and they couldn't avoid the concrete barrier and they spin oh. out. Yeah. And look at this, Dion Scott, the guy who avoided the four, all four wrecks, has the lead. Incredible. Incredible. You've never seen anything like this. Wow. So we've had four, and Sky Luke Walker was also held up or something, I'm not sure. So we've had not one, not two, not even three, but four racks in the same lap. And two of them involve the leaders. Incredible. That is one of the most cautious races we have ever seen. You'll never get to see one like this. That's for sure in other leagues. Milo Pony Cup Series does. Okay, let's see who retired from that wreck. And you're going to be shocked to hear this. Fifteen drivers retired. Yep. No, not fifteen. Almost only fifteen are left in the race. That is almost half the field. Almost half the field are still racing. Which is incredible for a first lap wreck. We're going to get under green, but first, let's check out the um, ones who were at retired. Eric Burton, Justin Perry, Inter Expo, Alex Dawson, Dylan Poteet, Seth Cole, Alex Jeffries, Ego Espina, Sky Luke Walker, Tim Frelick, Joshua Perry, and Connor Germain. Top six, the 16 of the, the, those have retired from the race. Only 15 are racing right now, and we're not even close to 10 laps to go yet. And we have not reached 10 laps to go yet. Wow. Anyway, top five, the ones who did make it out include Dion Scott, Danny Wells, Matt McMurray, Alex Tanker, and Pichu. Such a shame. Eleven laps to go. Fingers crossed and hoping we don't have any more wrecks like these. Green is out and Dion Scott got a good start, but will he hold it on? He's got to be careful of those concrete barriers. Wow, Joseph Lombard got loose there, back there. He got hit by a concrete barrier. Does he hang on? Not sure. And here's the battle for the lead. Matt McMurray and Deion Scott. Uh-oh, Deion Scott in the barrier. He gets involved and no Rex. Alex Tanker takes it away the lead. We're still green, thank God. 
We got 10 laps to go. Tanker's holding on to the lead, but will he be able to get through those barriers? Oh, he slides one out. Pichu is now in second. Oh, I think one got loose. Yep, one got loose, and that was the points leader. Caution, I think, is out. I think Caution's out. It might have been, let's see. Yeah, I, don't, I can't tell yet, but this is a race to the line, should there be a caution. And let's see if he can hold on. Hits the wall, so does Pichu. So, well, Tanker's going to hold on for a while. Let's see if the yellow lights are out. And, yep, they're out. Caution's out. So Tanker's going to lead him to the line with nine laps to go. Halfway through, we have our second wreck. Let's check it out. And it involves Connor Breton. And I think one of them involved Max Skinner. Yeah, I think this was the one. Connor Breton gets turned by Matt McMurray for third. Just had nowhere to go. Max Skinner gets held up by Barney Ward. Dion Scott, who had the lead into the restart, gets wrecked. Trent Dunham's side wins him there. And they both spin out. Thankfully, I hopefully hopefully this is the only one that this they would make it out. Let's see if there's others. Alright, so I don't think there was others. That was the only wreck. My god, if you've seen them all, you were wrong. Dead wrong. <laughs> yeah, Indy might want to fix those up those walls a bit. Connor Germain and Connor Breton, Joshua Perry. They retired because of the accident. That leaves only 14 drivers left. That's racing. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry, guys. It's almost over. We still got about five laps to go when we hit the restart. That pace car is not going away anytime soon. We're going to have four laps to go. Next caution ends the race at this point. At this point, next caution ends the race. Top five, Alex Tanker, Pichu, Danny Wells, Aaron Williams, Joseph Lombard. And here we go, five laps to go. Any caution will end the race. Here comes the top, here comes the wall. Here comes the wall, they better be careful. Here comes Pichu for the lead. Can Pete, you get it? Oh, wow. Oh, what is flipping? What is flipping? Wow, what is flipping around? Caution's easily out. Oh, no, Pete, you can't make the move. Oh, boy, is Pete, you gonna make the movie better because the caution is out? Oh, they wreck, they wreck. And can you believe it? Oh, Pete, you survived it. Oh, my goodness. He got contact from him. He survived it. Let's see if he's going to hold on. Aaron Williams making the hard charge. Who's going to win the race? It's going to be, oh my goodness, Aaron Williams. He made the move on Pichu. Wow. Aaron Williams made the move. I think Pichu would go to Pets, either that or something. But, oh, we saw a car flip. The race is over, pretty much. But well, we saw a car flip. Let's see if that was Joseph Lombard, because he was smoking. Oh no, it was not Lombard. It was Connor McCarter McGruder. On board. Here's what happened. They flip. Yeah. Whoa, he's gone airborne at Indy. Yeah, I cannot believe it. Unbelievable. <laughs> they flip around. That is really cool. Not really for Carter, but it's a flip at Indy. What are the odds? You can only see that in Indy cars. On board with Magruder. Man, Indy likes to be pricked sometimes, can it? Man, they gotta fix the wall for next year. Otherwise, it's gonna be a big factor.
And here's what happened to Alex Tanker. He was the leader and then gets bumped by Pichu. Pichu had nowhere to avoid it. Aaron Williams passed him on the restart. You're going to see that later, but first Pichu gets hit. Wow, he gets hit and Tanker just spins around out of nowhere. Pichu knew that he was slowing down a bit. He couldn't get the win. He just tried to hang on as possible. Couldn't do so. Here was the race to the line. Aaron Williams got the good move. And the race was won by Williams by a nose. Yeah, Pichu could have done nothing about it. Let's see if Pichu does go to the pits or does keep second. Well, he does go to the pits after all. He doesn't even get second. Oh, Ryan Acosta smokes too. What happened? Ryan Acosta is also smoking. Let's see what happened. Okay, that didn't sound right, but he was smoking somewhat. And he was just running for a full lap. He's had this for a full lap. I wonder what happened. There must have been a big wreck I missed. Oh, there was a big wreck I missed. Pony Ward spins out. Tanker gets hit. Team Pony hits him. Team Pony hits Tanker. Oh, wow. This is a domino. Everyone goes down. Team Pony gets hit by Tanker. Ryan Acosta gets hit by Team Pony. Pony hits Trent Dunham. Max Skinner. Jack Richards. They get all hits. Oh, that is not what you want. That is seriously not what you want. They were all slow, and they were trying to get in the pits, Acosta, but gets blocked by, yeah, he couldn't wait, and gets bumped by, wow, gets bumped by Barney Ward, what the heck was that, and Pichu's not even going to get second, he decides to forfeit second, and go to the pits for some repairs right here, he forfeits second, the race is over pretty much. And I don't think, and I don't think they're gonna get back green. And these are the guys that survived. Wow. White flag is out. Last lap. And others are going to the pits. Well, yeah, Aaron Williams isn't. He's one of the very few drivers in this not to have damage. And Aaron Williams in the 191 sees the white flag. <coughs> well, gee, that was one heck of a race. Only six drivers finished. And I missed the, um, I missed the checkered flag. I apologize. I missed the checkered flag. Wait, did I miss the checkered flag? No, I missed the checkered flag. I'm sorry, guys, but nevertheless, the 191 of Aaron Williams is going to kiss the bricks tonight and win the Oreo Brickyard 400. Only six, only six drivers finished the race. Aaron Williams, Danny Wells, Deion Scott, Barney Ward, Pichu, and Matt McMurray. The others retired for an accident and camshaft problems. Wow. Again. Own, we've only had 16 laps and guess what only six drivers survived Aaron Williams was one of them and he got the win congrats to Aaron congrats to Aaron Williams on the Brickyard win it's gonna pretty much put a toll on the standings but Max Skinner can breathe a sigh of relief he's, the, he's still the leader after 21 events Body more moved up to second, 59 points back, Aaron Williams third, Alex Jeffrey, Jack Richards, Justin Perry, Pichu, Ryan Acosta, Trent Dunham, and Sky Luke Walker, your top 10. The best of the rest. My goodness, very interesting race. Well, next race is going to be a little easier for one of them and the pole set or something. Next race will be the MetLife Prudential at the Glen, presented by the Account Second. The Account Second's host race. Can Pichu and Luke or Luke? Can Pichu or Sky Luke Walker win in their home track, home state? Well, we're about to find out next time. Stick around, Walkins Glen.
is gonna be wild. Yeah, nothing up said. See you later. Oh no, don't understand how can you believe it? What